what's up my beautiful people welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to do a dollar tree set of nails yes a dollar tree set of nails so i'm gonna do myself a dollar tree set of nails because i need to do a she in haul of nail products and i don't want to do that haul with my nails looking like this i don't want to do that haul with my nails looking like this so i am going to do me a quick nail set with some dollar tree products i have these la colors this color is red and it has sparkles in it i also have this set here it's black with sparkles and i have this set here which is red and black like a burgundy and black but it kind of it matches they go together so i'm going to kind of mix and match these to do me a quick nail set I'll probably be going for like a holiday thing. But yeah, I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree nails. Yes, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They was $1.25 each. It's 12 nails in each pack. I am gonna mix and match these for a set of nails, okay? I also have, oh, I also have nail glue that I got from the Dollar Tree. As well, it comes in a pack like this. Now, I haven't used this um, before, so I'm not sure how it's going to hold up. However, it's okay if these nails don't stay on. Like I said, I just want to do these nails for this nail haul. Typically, if I do like some press-ons, I will use this Kiss Nail Glue. But I'm going to do these nails today with Dollar Tree products. Now, I may use some embellishments. Um that i got from hobby lobby to do kind of like a christmas design i actually have these that i got from hobby lobby um they were 60 so 6.99 was 60 percent off and i also have these embellishments here that i got from hobby lobby that were 5.99 was 60 percent off so yes if you like this type of content make sure you like the video make sure you comment down below make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and share this video with people you know that might like this type of content. Let's get these nails done. Now, I have already pushed my cuticles back. I actually use these two tools here. And these came from the Dollar Tree as well. Okay. So, while I'm doing my nails, I will be chit-chatting and let you know, letting you all know um, why I'm going to be doing my own nails from now on. Okay. Stay tuned. Let's get these nails. Okay, you guys. So here we go. Here's my nails. As previously stated, I already pushed my cuticles back. So now I am going to take some cotton balls. And I'm going to just wipe my fingers off with some alcohol. I just have some alcohol. I'm going to wipe my fingers off. I could use some um, nail polish remover too, but I don't have any. But this will serve the same purpose. I'm just going to wipe my fingers off. That's it. Just like, hopefully y'all can see me. Sorry. Hopefully I'm in frame. So I'm going to just wipe my fingers off just like so. Just to get off any residue or anything. Like I said, I have not previously used this nail glue from the Dollar Tree. So this will be my first time using the, this here nail glue here. So I'm not sure if it dries quick or what. It says it dries quick, so we're going to see. All right. So, now that I have done that, let's get our nails so we can size them to our finger. Um, I think I'm going to start with these. Let's say it's 12 nails in here. Is that 12 nails? Three, six, nine. One is missing. Oh, no, it's not. It's here. It's 12 nails. Okay. So... Let's see. 
of what we are gonna do here. I don't know if I like these. I like them, but I don't know if I wanna use these at the moment. I thought I did, but I don't know. I don't know, I might use them. Like I said, it's just so I can do a haul. It's just so I could do a haul. And I have a container that I'll keep those in. Now, this Kiss glue is brush on. I love, love, love this. And it holds up for a while. So if you use press-ons, this if you put your press-ons on correctly, this could potentially hold your nails um, at least two weeks. So I really like this. But we're going to try this Dollar Tree um, glue today. And it's actually Onyx Professional. Um... Not sure if you know, but Onyx, they have, um, it's a real popular brand. They have, um, nail polish remover and stuff that you can purchase at Sally's. I also think they sell it at Walmart as well. But again, as far as this glue, I have not tried it. I'm not even sure if it's open. Let's just see. Let's see if it's, I'm not sure if I opened it. I haven't. I haven't, so let me just get something to stick in the hole up here just to open that up. So we can get the glue flowing. So I have this here. I'm gonna just stick it in the top, to open that up like so. And I got this thing from Dollar Tree. Now let's just test okay so it's open all right y'all so i am going to do my non-dominant hand first and then i'll do my dominant hand it really don't now actually i'll do my dominant hand first i'll do this hand first and then i'll do this hand so I'm going to take my nail, put a little drop of glue. It actually comes out like a lot, <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, hopefully y'all can see me. Yeah, I'm going to put that on. Oh, I'll just hold it for a second. Like so. All right, it sticks pretty quick. It does stick pretty quick. However, I need to try to figure out how to not have so much come out at one time. Let me just try. Let me just double, double test these before I glue them down. 
I could have went a little bigger on this one. But... thing with these nails right here, you can't tell which part is the top or the bottom because it's shaped like the same. And sometimes you could tell because of the thickness. So that's probably the part that goes towards the bottom. Sometimes you could tell because it's a little thicker at the top part like here. All right, so I'm gonna just hold that for a few seconds. Let it adhere. This glue actually does dry pretty fast. Or it catches pretty fast. All right, so that's what we have so far. Nothing too much. I probably could have just polished my fingernails and got the same, the same exact, um, the same exact effect, but. It's all right. So I'm just put a little bit of this glue right here. And yeah, hold that down until it adhere. And like I said, it is, it says quick dry and that is true. It does dry quick. I like to kind of put hold a little pressure though, just so you don't get air bubbles. If you have air bubbles, that's what causes your nails to like lift and come off quick. Um, if you do press ons, I also have some little press on tabs. They actually sell those at the Dollar Tree too, but I have not tried their press on tabs, the little press ons. I may try them one day, but I have not tried them. So that may be something I could do for a video one day. So put this one on here. And just hold it. And then you can see some of the glue like oozing out. I'm trying not to put much, but And I usually typically wear long nails, a little longer than this. Like this is just, this is fairly short. But like I said, I'm just doing this just so I could do this haul video. So I am going to be doing a haul on Shein nail products that I purchased. They came fairly quick. Um. So I've decided that I am going to start doing my nails on my own. Now I can do my own acrylics. However, I am liking, I'm actually loving the press-ons that they have out nowadays. Like press-ons today is not like the lead press-ons that they had like 15, 20 years ago. Like the press-ons that they have today is like literally acrylics. Like, you don't want to get the nail shop and got your nails done. So here's this hand. So I decided I was going to start doing my nails because, so I, I used to go and get my nails done um, at the nail shop. Pretty much. I used to try to go like every two weeks, but whenever I would go, um, it just got pretty pricey. So I can go and get my nails done. I can go and get my nails done and literally leave the nail shop spending. Uh-oh, I stuck to my finger. Stuck to my finger. Okay, so it literally leave the nail shop spending like, I spent like $80, $80 to $100 like on just my nails, not including like a pedicure. And it's just crazy. Like, I can get my nails done. I'm just um, fouling off some of this glue because some of the glue got on my hand. Um, so, like, I can go get my nails done. And if I get, like, typically when I go, I don't too much do designs. I may do something like this, and then I may get, like, some rhinestones, like, on two fingers. And that could cost me, like, $80 plus, literally just for my hands. 
Like it didn't used to cost that much. Um, and I know they charge by the length. And if you get like the um the gel polish, that's more like it's just ridiculous. So I said I was just gonna start doing my nails myself. Cause like I said, I can't do my own nails. Um as well as I could do my own acrylics. It just takes me a little time to do it, but I can indeed do it myself. And I have all the stuff to do it. So one day, maybe I'll do a video showing all of my, ooh, all of my supplies that I have, because I do have a lot of stuff. But yeah, so that is why I decided to like just do my own nails. And then like, you know, get this sticking to me and then you know it'd be a lot of times like you go get your nails done you come home for like two or three days they fine and then day four or five like you got a nail that's done broke or popped off like especially when you go to the um the chinese nail shops See, I got, see this, I got glue on top of that one. So this will probably be one that I will put like a design on. But um, it's like, some. I don't know. They didn't used to be like this, but it just seemed like, I don't know. They be scared to use acrylic sometimes. Like I like my nails thick. So when I go, I usually have to tell them like, make them thick, put more acrylic. And they be looking at me sideways like it's a problem. I mean, they do it, but I don't know. You can you can just sense, like, I don't know, when they got a problem with something. So, look at me. Just keep dropping this nail. Um, so, yeah, I just said I was just going to start doing my nails myself. I look like I'm struggling here, which I am. I typically do um, my left hand first and then do my right hand. Um, and it usually works out pretty fine. Only time I have a problem with this hand is when I go to like do designs or whatever. But as far as putting the nails on, I usually don't have an issue. So I don't know if I'm just tired right now or what, but you see the nails wanna keep popping out of my hand. But we are gonna get this done. We are going to get it done. Um, so yeah, that is why I decided. I'm gonna just start doing my own nails. And guess what? If it pop off tomorrow, I ain't wasted no money. Like, I mean, I don't spent money on products, but a lot of this stuff I don't have for like years. So. I'm just like, I might as well use it, start doing my own nails. Might as well, I mean, why not? So, I'm just getting some of the glue off that's done oozed out or that I done dropped on my fingers. This glue is actually, it's actually a good glue. I typically, like I said, I use this and it's a brush on. So I brush on the amount that I want and I don't have um like an issue with like overage or spillage on the outside of my nails that I'm having right now with this glue. So that's probably the only thing that I might say that I don't really care for. I may get a brush and pop this off and use it as like a brush on glue, like this. Not sure if, uh, what'll happen if I mix it together. Um, but yeah. And this is the last one. I'm just holding a little pressure there. So yeah, that's the only issue I'm having with this glue. I guess it's like running over the edge of my fingers. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll I'll figure out a solution.
like I said, I know they sell these um these brushes by themselves. So I may purchase some of those to use with that. Because the glue is actually working really good. Again, not sure how to hold up with like hand washing and all of that stuff, but we're gonna see. We will see. All right, so there is the nails. And like I said, I'm gonna do some. I probably I'm gonna add some embellishments. I got glue on top of this one, so I had to file it. Um, but it's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. All right, so like I previously stated, this here is some embellishments. Not sure how the back foil is gonna react to the glue. Like sometimes you can use these cheap rhinestones and um when you put the glue on the foil, it kind of like crinkles up, but sometimes that don't happen. So we're gonna use this and just see what happens. These are Christmas colors. It's like red, green, gold. Um I'm trying to see if I see clear in here, I like a silver. The go the silver that you're seeing is like the backs, but and I do have um look at this. It's some like inside of here. Let me just grab something to pour those in. Um I do have like a rhinestone tray, but of course it's not right here where I'm at. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take me a sheet of paper and I'm gonna pour those stones on top of this paper and we're gonna use those. I don't know if I wanna use them small ones. Let me just open this up. There's a lot of stones in here, I'm not sure. Let's see what I do with the top. I don't even know what I did with the top piece. I just, oh, here you go. Sometimes it'll tell you how many stones is in there. And it doesn't say on here. But again, I got these at Hobby Lobby. 60% uh, off. I believe all their Christmas stuff is still 60% off right now. So if you want to go get these right now, you should be able to. Um, I'm going to just pour these in here. Because like I said, I don't think I'm going to fool with the small ones right now. Um, I don't know why I did not get my little rhinestone tray. Um, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I want to do, I probably add embellishments just to like maybe one or two of them. I don't know. I don't know where that went. Don't know where that went. I'm trying to pop this open, but it's a little hard to do for some reason. Let's just try to pop it open with this. The first one I popped open went that hard. This one is hard. There we go. All right, so these are a little bit bigger stones. I'm gonna work with some of these. Yeah, so it's no, no silver stones in here. Although I do have some. Um, like I said, I usually typically use gel to adhere my stones, but I'm probably gonna use this glue just for the sake of this video. This is also some um, embellishments here. I 
again. Oh, this says 120 pieces. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Hopefully, I got it in frame. Um, let's see. I also got a little pickup tool too, but I ain't even grab none of that stuff. So it's a piece of tape on here. So let me just get this piece of tape off. And after I finish this video, I'm gonna come back and do that Shein haul. I got some great, great stuff from Shein. It was my first time ordering from there. Got some really, really nice things. So, not sure if you can see, but there's reefs in here. There's stars, snowflakes, Christmas tree. Um, a cross, and it looked like some flowers as well. Now, let's see. I'm turning this thing, and it ain't moving. There it go. There it go. All right, so. There's also some, what else is in here? Presents, Christmas stocking. Um, so let's see what we gonna use. Um, I may use the Christmas tree. It's also a bell, like a Christmas bell. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can grab one of these Christmas trees. I'm trying to grab it with my tweezers. Not sure if you can see. Oh, I got it. All right. Now, like I said, I am. I'm probably just going to do this nail on this side. Just because I don't want this video to be too long. Again, I just picked up the camera to record myself. So, I can do this haul. This little thing is kind of hard to turn. But anyway, here's our Christmas tree here. Like I said, I am going to use... I'm going to use a little bit of this glue to hear my stone. I mean, my Christmas tree. I, like, I do have some UV gel. I just don't feel like I want to get it at the moment. Um, So, I'm going to just use this. We're going to use this girl... Did that close up already? Usually after I open my glue, sometimes I use a um a thumbtack to stick in there just to keep it kind of open. I won't even put the top back on it. I just put a thumbtack there. And that keeps it open. This glue is like perfect. The only thing is a lot comes out at a time. I wasn't even squeezing it and you see glue is coming out. A lot of glue. I had to look, dab some off. All right, so I think I'm gonna like that. I don't even like these. They kind of be bigger than what I want to use. And this glue is probably going to be dry before I get ready to put some of these on. I'm going to get some of this size. It's good to use the, um, the little rhinestone trays. That way it's easy to pour back in a container. I'm just throwing some rhinestones on here. I ain't doing nothing special. No special designs. Or nothing like that. 
if I can hold on to them with these pair of tweezers. I also have a pickup tool that I just didn't grab. See, my glue is dry. My glue is dry, so I'm just going to get some of this glue. Put some of these stones on here. Like You really don't want to do this because you don't want the stones to look like blurry. Again, I'm just doing this just for the sake of a video. So I can do a haul and my fingers not look a mess. That's it. That's all. Hopefully, y'all can still see me. Um, this is so much easier. with the pick me up tool so much easier I, I don't think I got a pick me up tool from um from she in but I do have one that I got from Amazon as well as Hobby Lobby Alright, I ain't even about to do nothing else. I'm going to just leave these like this. Again, I just wanted to throw something on my nails just so I can do a haul. So hopefully you all like this quick little video. Again, like I stated, I will be back to do a Shein haul. Y'all make sure y'all come back to check that haul out because it is going to be amazing gonna be amazing um i got some great great things from she in so if you like this type of content make sure you like my channel or subscribe to my channel like this video give me a big thumbs up hit that notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i do a video um and that's pretty much it. I'll probably be doing more videos on me doing my nails. Like, this was literally nothing. Like, I usually, like, design my nails and everything. But this was, like I said, just a quick little throw some on your nails so you can um do this haul type video. <laughs> so, that is it for this video. I hope you all liked it. Y'all make sure y'all come back so y'all can see what I got from Shein. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces.